Hey guys, so here I am with the Infinity 3D S1 Auto Filament Changer. I just finally started building this thing and uh, so far pretty cool. It does look like there was a communication issue here. I was told I was getting the one and three kilogram sides, uh, but I also got the five. Why is that bad? because I did secure a sponsorship from Polymaker and Overture for this video, but I only asked for three kilogram and one kilogram spools. And as you know, three and five can be quite expensive. I can't afford to buy them, you know, just to do a video. I just, I'd go broke trying to do that kind of thing. So getting that sponsorship, getting them to send some filament over was super helpful. Unfortunately, I'm getting three and one but i won't be able to show the five it's not a terribly big deal because they work the same but i it would be amazing to put the five on the side and show the five how big it is and how it fits what it looks like show it functioning but i'm going to have a three kilogram and i'm going to have a one kilogram this is the a completed side i'm working on so this one has the rollers and uh, it's uh, their bearings, so really, really nice. Um, yeah, they're, they work really well. They're not done being built yet, so I probably shouldn't put a filament on it and be like, oh, look, why don't we spin it? Because they're not ready yet. But this is the main body here. And uh, one kilogram sides. And then it's going to have the, the three and it's going to have the five. So in here, I've got all these different size rollers. You basically put a screw through and then mount the roller to that screw. And uh, it does seem to work. These are the rollers for the three kilogram size, same thing. And I've got some adapters here that I need to learn to use in order to set this guy up, for example, on a Prusa. They came with a specific adapter. Here it is. This is the MK4 adapter. I just have to learn uh, how to use this. And I believe there's an adapter for the Bamboo A1. It's very small. It just goes into the tool head. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this together and then I'll show you guys what it does and how it works. And uh, we'll see it in action. So catch you soon on this. Looking kind of forward to it. It's pretty neat.